Hey everyone, James with TFB TV here today at the SHOT Show floor. I'm in the Zenith booth with my buddy Big Paul. You guys may remember him from last year, maybe the year before. I'm a little bit of a roller locker nerd, so I love coming around here and seeing what Zenith has to offer. And before we get into their new offering this year, I wanted Paul to kind of explain what Zenith does to the people that might not be familiar with the company. Paul? Well, one of the things I'm really excited about Zenith Company is that our manufacturer is MKE. MKE was one of the original HK subcontractors back in the day. So the lines that made all of the HK products are still up and running. So when you get one of these guns produced, it's made on the same machine tool line that the original HKs were to the original specs. Now what a lot of you might not know, <clears throat> these guns are military grade firearms. These guns come off the line, they're ready to go to the military throughout the world. We import them and they're downgraded to semi-auto for the civilian market. Now as you all know, we've had some supply problems. I'm just kind of touching on a little bit here. Although they're military guns, it's an advantage, there's also a disadvantage. When their government places huge orders, it puts us in second place. So there's been a slight supply problem that's been worked out. But you're going to get a military-grade firearm that's built on the original machine tools to original specs, and you're getting your two-pin lower plus the magazine flapper as standard equipment. Yeah, and I just wanted to ask you that and clarify, just because there are a lot of HK clone manufacturers right. out there nowadays, and uh, you know, just it's something I think that differentiates you guys using the original the MKE right. machinery, which was uh, HK licensed machinery exactly, back in the day. Exactly. Exactly. But we've got something new this year from you guys, okay. right? Right. We're, we're standing um, here right in front of it. I am really excited because one of my favorite firearms, and the most kind of besides the MP5 HK, the HK G3 is one of the workhorses of the world. Um, and we have an exact representation. This is our G3. From end to end, it's all the spec. We have the original barrel length, the rings for the grenade launcher, bipod, all the parts, two pin lower, magazine flapper. And not only is it beautiful and to spec, it's an awesome shooter. Even though it's 308 because of the delayed blowback, it's a nice, smooth recall, and it's very accurate. Yeah, and for people that don't know out there, we're talking about a 7.62 NATO or 308 right. uh, battle <clears throat> rifle with a 20-round box magazine, typically exactly. Exactly. originally manufactured by HK and the successor to the Spanish Set Me. Set Me, exactly. exactly. Um, so a lot of people out there may not know what the HK91 is. Right. Uh, now, what are we talking about in terms of parts interchangeability for this rifle? Like, if I say had an original HK91, do I, can, do I have 100% parts? 100% parts changeability. Okay, yep. wow, that is actually yep. really cool. Um, so, how much are these going to cost? Retail is going to be $19.99, and we should have a mid year this year. Okay, and uh, limited edition, how many units we talk in? That I don't know yet, but I know they're definitely coming, and I'm excited if we get them out here. All right, and will you walk everybody through the features from front to back here? Okay, sure. So, what do we have? This is basically the standard HKG3. Um, one of the three things about it is we have the original flash hider. Now, you won't find us in many guns anymore. This is the original barrel configuration down to the actual O-rings to seal the grenade launcher. We have the original sight with the hood, um, cocking tube, the original diaper sights. Now, this is something that sets us apart from all their manufacturers. We have the original two-pin lowers. This is not shelved. That's a real pin. It all comes out plus the magazine flapper, which makes it much, much easier. And we're, let's talk about uh, 922 compliance. What do you got? I mean, you guys manufacture everything in the gun. Um, do you have, do you guys have to put any US made parts in this to make it 922 Yes, compliant? we do. Um, right now we put US made parts. We do have, we do have some machinery. We'll be making all of our 922 our parts in house. So when you purchase this, it's ready to go. All right, so this gun is 100% made by you guys. You got the overseas manufacturing and the original HK machinery. And exactly. then you do the American parts yeah. over here yeah. for 922 <clears throat> compliance. Exactly. Okay, very cool. Um, and can you tell me which parts the American ones are? I'm not exactly okay, sure. Yeah. But I do will say this. We are very, very conscious of, of quality. So everything we do here at Zenith is based on quality as good as HK or better. Paul, it's always great talking oh, to you. Oh, you too. Yeah, I love yeah, doing anytime. This. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thanks a ton Thanks for so having much. us.